Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so today I am taking a walk to go get ingredients for my video. It's freaking humid out as fuck, so en enjoy this little frizz moment that we have going on here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go, probably somewhere without a line, because like I only have to get like a couple things. But yeah, this video is gonna be like really fun. I am a little upset though, because today I thought I wasn't gonna have to like do anything. Like I was like, today's popping. Like I literally have no classes. Like I'm just fucking vibing out. And then my friend texted me at like 1.39 and I had a class starting at 1.30 apparently. She was like, where the fuck are you? Get on the class. He's marking people late. And I was like, what? Oh my God, you can't see my facial expressions. I just realized that like, I was like this. I was like, but then I was like, you can't see me. So then I was like, what, we have a class? And then I had like a, a two hour class and like it really messed up my day, but like, it's fine. The thing is though, is that like my teachers are like on my ass. Why are you emailing my parents and me being like, do your work? This whole online school thing is really not a vibe for me because I'm like, first of all, you guys are obsessed with me. Like you need to calm down. Like I get it. Like I'm really, I'm really cute and fun. Like I get that. But like what we're not gonna do here is um, obsess over me and like even like contact my family regarding my assignments. Because I'm like, you guys didn't care about me this much when we were in school, like you really didn't care. And like now all of a sudden, like you're literally obsessed with me and like contacting my family. My point in saying all this is, I know you guys miss me. Like I would miss me too. Like that's the other thing. It's like, if I were you, I would feel the same way. Like, you know, I would want me to be turning in my assignment. Like I think that they just miss my work. I think my work is so high quality that they just want me to be sending in so much work. But yeah, now I am almost at the store. It does seem like there's a little bit of a line and like I low-key don't know exactly what I'm getting. So like a little nerve, but like we're gonna see what happens. So yeah, stay tuned. I know I said I was gonna peace out and see you later, but I was getting a little bit lonely and there was um, this person really just staring at me. I thought that if I um, started recording myself, it would look like I was on FaceTime and then they wouldn't look at me because I'm, I'm talking to somebody, you feel me? Okay guys, I am here and I'm getting the stuff. Look at all of these goods. I literally wanna buy everything. I have secured the goods and I am on my way back home. Um, it's really freaking cloudy out. So like, I really hope this video doesn't look like ass. I think we'll be fine though. It's already like five-ish. So like, I'm probably gonna eat dinner in like an hour or something. So like, if anything, I'll like film some now and then like some later. Why am I telling you guys this? You guys literally don't care. So I just realized I never actually said what the video was gonna be about, I don't think. I mean, I put it in the title, so like you probably got it from that. But yes, I'm going to be trying different like TikTok famous foods that I've always seen and never actually tried because I was too lazy. And during quarantine, there is so much time obviously to just like do whatever, I guess. And like, I think everyone's pretty much just becoming like chefs and bakers during this time. So I am going to do the same. I wanted to try making these foods and also let you guys know how they are so you don't have to go through all the work if they taste bad. I'm really excited. If it's gross, that'll be fun too because we'll all have a good laugh. I'm in my kitchen and the first thing I'm gonna be doing is making a whipped matcha latte. I'm sure you guys have seen on TikTok or like most likely or just in general like people making whipped coffee which is like a really big like thing for some reason. I tried it and it was delicious but I did it with a hand mixer and it ended up taking me an entire day to mix. I thought I would be able to do it super fast. So I was like, I'm just gonna do it hand mix. It took freaking forever. It was still really good though. And then the next time I did it, I gave in and used a hand mixer and it only took like two minutes. So I was gonna make whipped coffee for this video, but I was like, I really wanna try things that I haven't had before. And like whipped matcha is like pretty much the same thing except instead of coffee, it's matcha. And I freaking love matcha. So I'm really excited. And I am gonna be using a hand mixer to make it because I am not stirring this shit for like a whole day again it's not happening you know i'm keeping it real with you guys this video is just an excuse for me to eat the foods that i wanted to try but you know if you guys get something out of it then i'm hitting two birds with one stone so the first ingredient that you need is matcha powder second is sugar and then just water and then milk but i'm gonna be using oat milk because i'm a motherfucking vegan so in this bowl is two tablespoons of matcha powder, 
Um, it looks like this. Two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of hot water. And now we're gonna be blending it together. These are chaotic times. Let's go. working so I have my cup here this is oat milk and this is my finished thing it looks really scary and disgusting but I hope it will taste good anyway this is the ultimate taste test I'm so excited because it kind of looks fire also keep my chakra bracelet okay this is the moment Oh my god. This is the best thing that has ever entered my intestines. Oh my god. Guys, if you ever make anything in the world, make this. Two tablespoons of matcha powder, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of hot water. Mix it, put it in milk, oat milk, if you're a vegan or just a cool person. 10 out of 10. When I said that this video is an excuse for me to eat, I really wasn't kidding. This is the best moment of my life. I just changed into a sweatshirt because it's low-key cold in my house. So the next thing I'm gonna be making is super easy, thank God, because like that was low-key tiring. We'll see how many of these I actually end up making because I'm really lazy, but the next thing I'm gonna be making is um something that most people have already tried, except I really haven't. I mean, I tried them. Well, let me tell you what it is first. I'm making the Oreo mug cake. This is like a pretty popular one too. It's really super easy. I've done it with like the golden, like the vanilla Oreos, but I've never done it with like the regular ones because I'm not a big fan of regular Oreos, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I think I'm gonna like it because like, how could you not? For this one, literally the only thing that you need is milk, I'm using oat milk again, Oreos, and a mug. I put like six Oreos in here, I think, and now I'm just gonna add milk. I literally have no idea how much to do. That seems good, I think. And then you mash it up with a fork. So how are you guys doing? How's life? How's quarantine? This is really exciting for me. This is pretty much the highlight of my ah, quarantine. Milk just like exploded. It's interesting though, because I feel like when we have school and like our lives, we are like, I just want to chill. I don't want to go to school. I just want to lay at home. And now we're all upset and we miss that. So that's pretty ironic. I'm going to put this in the microwave now. Okay, it's done. That's a cake. Let's try it. It's like steaming. Oh my god, it's burning hot. Do you guys ever feel so disoriented? Like, sometimes I just like blank out and I'm just like, where am I? Like, what's going on? Anyway, my Oreo cake is cool. Let's give it a try. Oh my god, this slaps. I finally understand the hype. How did no one realize this until now? Like, how are you making like a cake out of a cookie? What? It's literally a cake. Like, guys, it's not even like an Oreo with milk. It's like a cake. Like, this is literally a fucking cake. Hold on. Is this gonna be disgusting? Someone fell in. Oh my god. Mmm. Did I just invent something? That was so good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am slightly scared for my stomach because I ate an entire bag of animal crackers last night at 1am. I had a stomach ache all day today and am I making it worse right now? Most likely. We're gonna find out. I also don't really care. So the next thing I'm gonna be making is, I was really like nervous about this one because like I low-key don't have the right ingredients because I'm a vegan so I can't make it exactly how they said. But I saw on TikTok it's like these bagels that are made with two ingredients and it's like Greek yogurt and flour. I'm low-key really scared and I can't eat Greek yogurt so I got this plain almond milk yogurt. I don't know if it's gonna work but if not we'll we'll have a nice laugh together so let's try it out. How do I feel about making these bagels? Scared would be an understatement. It also says you need to like brush an egg on top of it after and again I don't eat eggs. I fucking might eat it. Oh you know what though? Is it even gonna work if I don't have an egg? Actually I might have this fake egg stuff that will work. So I just put a cup of flour into this bowl, and then I'm gonna add a cup of non-dairy almond milk yogurt. I just tried some of the yogurt and it tastes like actual asshole, but that's because it's plain, I think, and I just don't like plain yogurt. That's what you gotta do sometimes when you're a vegan, you feel me? I don't know why people think vegans are so healthy. You guys all think that vegans eat just like a shred of lettuce and that we're like fucking rabbits, but that's obviously not the case. It turns out that I don't have that fake egg stuff that I was talking about, so 
I have no idea what's going to occur. And the video I watched didn't say what temperature to put the oven on, so I hit them with the classic 350 degrees. Guys, this is really, like, it low-key looks like dough, though. Like, look at this shit. Like, what? It literally looks like fucking dough. This is really scary to me. I'm so frightened. I'm going to mix in some everything seeds, and since I don't have egg, I'm thinking, like, what can I put on the top? That's, they say to like brush like some like mixed up eggs. So I'm like, I'm gonna put some oil on it. Hopefully that will serve the same purpose. We will try. I can't make it into a bagel. Like what? I can't do it. I'm gonna turn this into everything bread instead of bagels because um, it's like soup. Not too bad. If you guys are confused, what you're witnessing is me trying to be positive in a time where I'm failing. I have my everything seeds again, and I'm just gonna sprinkle more on top. Okay. All right. This is probably gonna taste like asshole, but we're still gonna try. And I also don't have eggs put on top. So I'm like, should I put oil on top or should I just hope and pray for the best? You know what? Oil's probably gonna taste gross. I'm just gonna hope and pray for the best and see what occurs. You know, it's so important for me to be honest with you guys. And so that's what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm tired as fuck and I'm not gonna be making any more foods. I was gonna try and make cookie dough after this, but now I'm just like, the way that it's dinner time and I'm hungry, <laughs> only I would be hungry after eating like, I mean, I haven't eaten the bagels yet. Bagels, it is yogurt bread and it's gonna be phenomenal. I just put it in the oven. Oh my god, I didn't set a timer. You know what? We're gonna take this one as it comes. So I'm really not gonna make any more because I'm tired. But I've made cookie dough before and like you can find recipes online. It's actually really easy. Instead, I thought I would just chat with you guys for a hot minute. Some things that I've been doing is watching Netflix. I know, like I'm so unique. Like I feel like nobody watches Netflix. Like I'm just so different in that sense. In all seriousness, I've been re-watching Gossip Girl, of course, because I fucking love that show. And on my TikTok, all you guys do is say that I look like Georgina Sparks. Like that's literally the only thing that you guys say. Like you guys are obsessed with that well i dyed my hair so like maybe that's why i see it a little bit she's a baddie so like thank you yeah i've been re-watching gossip girl i've been watching like anime i feel like i need to start a new show i kind of want to watch outer banks because i feel like everyone's watching outer banks and i like haven't yet but i'm so lazy and it's so hard for me to start new shows because like i just end up re-watching old ones because it's like the amount of brain concentration it takes to like start a new show and pay attention like oh my goodness the thing though is that i get distracted so quickly and that's why I can't like pay attention. That's like another thing with like watching new movie. For me, it's more of like, I'll rewatch Radio Rebel. You know what I mean? Like Radio Rebel slaps. Also like when that whole thing became like, Radio Rebel became like a funny thing. I just want to say, I have known that. Like I, me and my friends have been like laughing at that for years, for years. So when that came out, I was like, y'all finally realize that movie is amazing though. Like it's so good. It's just, it's a laugh. I love it. No hate at all because I love that movie. I just rewatch old movies because when I have to watch new ones, I have to pay attention and then i'm just like <sighs> i'm taking it out of the oven now here we have the finished product i'm really scared okay it literally still feels like dough but like hard dough so this should be exciting i do not know what this is but it is not bread this is a hockey puck look at this this is not bread and it's burning my fingers but let's try it hmm wait <gasps> This is really good. I'm so confused. Low-key recommend. In conclusion, everything I ate was low-key really good. That bread was actually so good. My dad and sister are currently eating it and I just ate like a whole bunch of it. I'm about to eat dinner. So I gotta close this video up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I low-key recommend all of those recipes. Like they all slapped. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all of you so much. I love all of you so much. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna keep posting more videos as often as possible. I love you guys.